ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸರಸ್ವತ್ಯೈ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಜನ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣ ನಿರತ ಕರುಣಾಮಯ ನಮಿ ಚಿನ್ಮಯ ದೇವ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ವರ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ವರ ಸಿಂಧೂರಾರುಣ ವಿಗ್ರಹ ತ್ರಿಣಯ ಮಾಣಿಕ್ಯಮೌಲಿಸ್ಫುರತ ತಾರಾಯಕಶೇಖರ ಸ್ಮಿತಮುಖೇ ಆಪೀನ ವಕ್ಷೋರುಹ ಪಾಣಿಭ್ಯಾಮಲಿಪೂರ್ಣರತ್ನಚಕ ರಕ್ತೋತ್ಪಲ ಬಿಭ್ರತಿ ಸೌಮ್ಯಾಂ ರತ್ನಗಠಸ್ತರಕ್ತಚರ ಧ್ಯೇತ್ ಪರಾಂಬಿ ಸೌಮ್ಯಾಂ ರತ್ನಗಠಸ್ತರಕ್ತಚರ ಧ್ಯೇತ್ ಪರಾಂಬಿ ಸೊ ವಿವರ್ ಏಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ನಾಮಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಓವರ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ನಾಮ ಓಕೆ ಕೊಯ್ ಬಾತ್ ರೇ ವಿ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಿ ಸೋ ಫಾರ್ ವಿ ಸಾ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಮದರ್ ಎಮರ್ಜೆನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಚಿದಗ್ನಿ ದೆನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವೆಂಟ್ ಬೈ ದ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ವಿಚ್ ವಾಸ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಂಡ ಪುರಾಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಂಡ ಪುರಾಣ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ವಿಚ್ ವಾಸ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಸೈಡ್ ಬೈ ಸೈಡ್ ಹೌ ದ ಮೈ ದಿ ಮದರ್ ಎಮರ್ಜ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೌ ದೇವತಾಸ್ ಪ್ರೇ ಪ್ರೇಸ್ ಪ್ರೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೇ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೌ ದಿಸ್ ಬಂಡಾಸುರ ವಧ ಟುಕ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಠೀಕ್ ಹೈ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಂಡಾಸುರ ಉತ್ಪತ್ತಿ ಹೌ ಡಿಡ್ ಹಿ ಹೌ ಯು ವಾಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ಲಿ ಹೌ ಶಿ ಕಾಂಕರ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶಿ ಕಿಲ್ಡ್ ಬಂಡಾಸುರ ದೆನ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಶಿ ರಿವೈವ್ಡ್ ಕಾಮ ಕಾಮದೇವ್ ಮನ್ಮಥ ವಾಸ್ ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ಅಪ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಟಿಲ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿ ಸಾ ಲೀಲಾ ವೈಭವಂ ಮದರ್ಸ್ ಎಮರ್ಜೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೆರ್ ಲೀಲಾ ವೈಭವಂ ವಾಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ನೌ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೋ ಫಾರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ದ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಮದರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಮದರ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಾತಾ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹಾರಾಗ್ನಿ ಶ್ರೀಮತ್ ಸಿಂಹಾಸನೇಶ್ವರಿ ದೇಟ್ ವಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಅಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಎಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮದರ್ ನೌ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಎಂಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ನೌ ಲೀಲಾ ವೈಭವಂ ಇಸ್ ಓವರ್ ನೌ ಮಂತ್ರ ವೈಭವಂ ಆರ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ರೂಪಂ ಆಫ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಮದರ್ ನೌ ದಿಸ್ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೆಪ್ತ್ ಇನ್ ಡೆಪ್ತ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಟಿಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಇನ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ರಿಪೀಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಉಪಾಸನ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಹ್ಯೂಜ್ 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 ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಮಂತ್ರ ರೂಪಂ ಮಂತ್ರ ರೂಪಂ ಹೆರ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಸೊ ನೌ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ನೌ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಮೀ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ವಾಗ್ಭವಕೂಟೈಕಸ್ವರೂಪಮುಖಪಂಕಜ ಐಟಿ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ನಾಮ ಓಕೆ ಗಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಕಾಮೇಶ್ವರಾಸ್ ನಿರ್ಧಗ್ನ ಸಬಂಡಾಸುರಶೂನ್ಯಕ ದೆನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಂತ್ರಕಂ ಸರ ನೇತ್ರಾಗ್ನ ಸಂದಗ್ದ ಕಾಮ ಸಂಜೀವನೌಷಧಿ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಓವರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ದೆನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ವಾಗ್ಭವಕೂಟೈಕಸ್ವರೂಪಮುಖಪಂಕಜ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಲೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಗಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿವನ್ ಠೀಕ್ ನೌ 
See, Haran Etra Agni Samdhagda, Kama Sanjeevan. The one who was destroyed by the Trinetra of Lord Shiva, Manmatha, was again brought back to life by Divine Mother. Right, that was told, the story also was told last month. Now we are entering into Srimad Vagbhava Kutaika Swarupa Mukha Pankaja. Now see, the Sri Chakra Swarupa. Now, what we have slowly will go into, those no hurry. You know, you know Sri Chakra Meru, we also saw that, the Meru, which you had an Upasana also, we know. So many triangles are there, so many Bindu, Trikona, so many things. Square also. Now, Srimad Vagbhava, now Mother, Divine Mother, here now we are going to describe the subtle form, subtler form and subtlest form. Three forms we are going to see. In 85 mantra, up to 89th mantra, Nama, sorry, Nama, we are going to see mantra vaibhavam or mantra rupam of Divine Mother from 85th to 89th. Five, five Namas are there. Srimad Vagbhava Kutaika Swarupa Mukhapankaja, that from that side onwards, then Sri, uh, what do you call, uh, next mantra is Kantadha Kati Paryanta Madhya Kuta Swarupani Shakti Kutai Katapanna Katya Dobhagadarini. Then afterwards, uh, what do you call, Mula Mantra Atmika Mula Kuta Trayakalebara, up to here. And Kulamrutha Rasaika onwards, another Swarupa of Divine Mother comes into picture. Now see, here, the name, meaning is for Srimat Vagbhava Kutam. First portion, Sri Chakra Upasana Panchadashi Mantra is there, which we are not supposed to utter outside, unless you get a Diksha from a Guru. This Panchadashi, Panchadashi Mantra has 15 syllables. They are all Mula Mantras. Now, 15 mantras may, the first five syllables is Vag Bhava Kutam. Then next six letters will come in the mantra is Madhya Kutam or Kamaraja Kutam. Then again last five, four, sorry. So first five syllables is what? Vag Bhava Kutam. Then Next, six syllables are Kamaraja Kutam or Madhya Kutam. And the last, again four syllables are Shakti Kutam. Now see the mantras. Srimad Vagbhava Kutaikas Swarupa Mukhapankaja. And then afterwards again next comes the Madhya Kutam. Right? Then Kanta Dakkati Paryanta. Madhya Kota Swarupini, Madhya Kota or Kamaraja Kutam. Then Shakti Kota Ekatapanna, Katya Dhobhagadarini. This is third part is Shakti Kutam. Then Mola Mantra Atmika, Mola Trekalebra, all those things will come. Now see, in this Panchadashi Mantras, in the entire Sri Chakra, is also divided into three parts. Meru you take for example. So first top portion is represented by first mantra, that is Vagbhava Kutam. Madhya Kutam in Sri Chakra is Kamaraja Kutam. And the last portion in Sri Chakra Meru is, or Sri Chakra is Shakti Kutam. Right? Now Mantra Swarupam. See, Devatas are all, they have physical body which we have saw. How the Divine Mother is physical form. Now, they are actually mantra, these devatas are mantra rupas, meaning what? Had mantra itself, mantra itself is a physical, a, a body for them. Mantra rupini. Mantras itself takes another form. So, mantra swarupini, mantra rupini, divine mother Lalitambika, now is going to be now discussed. What is that now? First one. Srimat Vagbhava Kuta Ikarup, Sarupa Mukha Pankaja. Her lotus face represent her Mukha Pankaja, Mukha face, Pankaja, lotus face. Her lotus face that is, is represented physically her lotus face, face. 
mantra part of it corresponding mantra rupam is vagbhavakutam where the first five bijaksharas are there panchadashi mantra so those five syllables so vagbhava group the group vagbhava kutami kutam so these five syllables form vagbhava kutam or they represent the lotus face of divine mother okay that means what here subtle rupa is first discussed subtle subtle subtler and the subtlest okay now panchadashi mantra swarupam is there 15 syllable mantra which i am not going to utter here now here what are the the chaturvida purusharthas dharma artha kama and moksha or otherwise called as trivarga trivarga mean they are called trivarga only trivarga means all the four purusharthas are grouped into three what are they dharma is one group artha and kama is another varga and moksha is another varga so artha kama sar because are, are together grouped dharma artha kama and moksha this to trivarga right so the dharma the vagbhava kutam represent dharma meaning what when we do this upasana of this vagbhava kuta swarupini mantra rupini of lalitambika you get the knowledge of dharma what is that knowledge of dharma that dharma which ultimately leads you to the upanishad gnanam or ultimate knowledge that leads was taught in upanishad upasana 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 so when you do this upasana mantra japa continuously then what happens this dharma gnanam mane the knowledge about dharma you will get because vak bhava kutam from vak what ex- expresses through the gnanam only the teachings only come out so if you do upasana of vak bhava kutam we get knowledge we get shastra gnanam to know what dharma is and also ultimate essence of gnana the ultimate gnanam also also because advaita gnanam only and the entire bhashya of our um, the in the lalita sastra nam bhashya it is only mentioned advaita gnanam only there is not there is no question of duality there only advaita alone is mentioned the one truth which is expressing as divine mother shiva shakti both are not separate inseparable they are so therefore here when you when we worship vagbhava kutam the first part of the five syllable mantra of the panchadashi mantra when we can meditate upasaka gets tremendous amount of knowledge and dharma dharma anusthana and dharma leads to purity of mind and intellect and then he becomes eligible to gain the ultimate knowledge to gain ultimate knowledge so this is the vagbhava kutam so here subtle form of the divine mother is explained here meaning behind the stola form what exactly is there is subtle form what is subtle form mantra swarupini mantra rupini so mantra rupini panchadashi aksha akshara first five syllables are vagbhava kutam next syllables are six are madhya kutam or shak kamaraja kutam and then is called shakti kutam and top portion represent what dharma middle portion represent artha and kama and last portion represent moksha shakti kutam so first one is subtle upasana subtler form the first is the mantra in this is the mad what of shrimad vagbhava kutaika swarupini okay mukha pankaja shrimad vagbhava kutaika swarupa mukha pankaja so this is the beautiful thing clear now mantra we are now see physical form stola roopam mantra roopam sukshma sukshmatara sukshmattama roopam we will now discuss okay now the next one kantha dakkati paryanta madhya kuta swarupini kantha dakkati paryanta madhya kuta swarupini now mad this uh, the subtle form see subtle form is always aadhar for gross form 
So what we are doing from Sthula Rupa of Lalita Ambika Devi, which we worship in the form of photo, we go to Mantra Swarupini of Lalita Ambika Devi, then we go further inside, deeper subtler form, Kamakala Rupa, that will discuss in 3 sec, 20 second Nama, somewhere it comes in future, Kamakala Rupam, the Majjakutam, again it is mentioned there, in description of course, but we are not going to description of the Majjaraja, the Kamaraja Kutam, but what is the purpose of it, we will see. Then still subtlest is what, Kundalini Rupa Shakti Rupini, that we will see third bit of it, the Adishta. So what we worship Divine Mother as a form, then Mantra Rupini, then Kamaraja, and then ultimate subtlest form is what? Shakti Rupini, subtlest Kundalini Rupa. So kund next one is Kundalini Rupa only. Kaulini, Kula Yogini, all those things will come. Kula, Kula, Kula Shabda will come. Next Namas. What is Kula? What is Kundalini? We will see now. Right? Now means when we reach there. Now next one, Kanta Adha. Kanta Adha means from the, the Rupa, Stula Rupa, entire Siras head portion is what? Vagbhava Kutam, which is from where Divine Mother gives us knowledge, teaches us. Vagbhava Kutam represented by five syllables of Panchadashi Mantra and standing for what? What we get? Dharma and Jnanam. So Dharma Artha Kama Moksha means Dharma you will get immediately. That Dharma Jnanam, knowledge of Dharma, which ultimately takes us to the knowledge of ultimate Upanishads, Upanishadic knowledge. So this is Upar. Kantha Adha, below Kantha portion, up to Kati Paryantam, up to her hips. This is called Madhya Kuta, Divine Mother form. So Madhya Kuta is Tula Rupa, from Kantha Adha up to the Kati Paryanta, Madhya Kuta Swarupini. Now, what is Madhya Kuta? Kamaraja Kutam. Why? Dharma is the first one in the Vagbhava Kutam. Artha and Kama are given in the Kamaraja Kutam. Why Kamaraja Kutam? Because all in the middle portion only heart is there. And in the heart only all desires are erupting. And her, her desire to first Srusti Vilasa also coming her from her heart, Divine Mother's heart. And our desires which are taking us towards samsara, all kinds of desires are erupting only in the middle portion. That also is further described in other future namas. So now, because the desires are erupting in the middle portion only, because all our desires, Kamaraja Kotam, all desires are only, only in the middle region. So therefore, here she represents the Madhya Kotam, Madhya Kotam. And here also Vagbhava Kutam is Jnana Shakti because she gives Jnanam. And here Ichcha Shakti because the ability to desire Kamaraja Kutam. And that is the middle portion represented by the six syllables in Panchadashi Mantra is Mantra Swarupini. And the Stula form is what? Madhya Bhagini of the Divine Mother. And Ichcha Shakti Swarupini there. So corresponding you understanding now. So in, in, in fact when we worship the Sri Chakra Meru, it is nothing but the representation of Divine Mother only. All what is Sri Chakra? Shakti Samuha, we saw that. Every corner, it is all powers only. And all the powers are placed in the Sri Chakra in that form. And that we worship, representation, representation of Divine Mother. Mother form is different, her the Sri Chakra Rupini is different, and then Sri Chakra Mantra Rupini is different. Mantra Rupini ke piche, subtle form, Mantra, then subtlest, subtler, and then the subtlest. Subtler form is Kamaraj Rupam, and still subtlest is Shakti. Dharma, Artha, Kama is second one, Moksha is the fourth one. So therefore, the another name for this word Kamaraja Kutam or Madhya Kutam. Madhya Kuta Swarupini, Madhya Kutam means Kamaraja Kutam. Here we are getting both Artha and Kama. So Dharma and Jnana is gained from the Vagbhava Kutam 
and from second one we both get artha and kama mantra only mantra japam only in the fifth six fifteen syllables these six syllables indicate that madhya kota swarupa upasakas are there those are upasanas kadi vidya hadi vidya and sri vidya there are all so many divisions are there kadi vidya is with that mantra which start with the letter ka with ha bijakshanas only not to be uttered in so no where i saw this panchadashi and shodashi mantra being uttered before mic they never utter they say only panchadashi mantra first five group for second six group third four group letters vag bhava kootam madhya kootam shakti kootam they explain that okay so now mantra swarupini mantra so therefore actually here it comes in bhashya in bhaskara bhashya that mantra roopam and sthula roopam are one because when we worship sthula roopini lalita ambika devi she is none other than representing the subtle form only so when we worship for example the nama and nami roopa roopa is there for that roopa there is one nama is there and what is indicated by nama is nami subtle so subtle and gross are integrate great upasana they are all sri vidya upasana so therefore here kanta adakati paryanta madhya kuta swarupini very beautiful thing next time when you are chanting you should come now vag bhava vag vaibhava kuta that is mukha pankaja then kanta adakati paryanta madhya kuta swarupini next one shakti kutai katapanna katya dhabho katya dhabhagadharini katya dho bhagadharini katya dho bhagadharini shakti kutai katapanna katya dho bhagadharini now next one the last portion divine mothers physical portion is what shakti kutai katapanna kati adho bhagadharini kati hip adho bhaga down portion dharini one knows that with that form so physical form representing right from the hip lower portion is called shakti kutam the last group of five syllables are nothing but from the hip onwards up to downwards is all shakti kuta swarupini so here kati adho bhaga dharini so first one is vag bhava vag vaibhava kuta vag bhava kutam then kamaraja kutam or madhya kutam and then shakti kutam this is mantra swarupa so three 15 syllables mantras three divided three parts all placed on sri chakra meru sri chakra then corresponding the physical form representation up to all those that is seen now then the subtle form is kamaraja the what do you call uh, the kutam we shall come of course later on bindu then fall by two bindus then hardha chandra all those descriptions are there but about this it is very clearly mentioned only guru will initiate into this upasana only guru means sri vidya upasaka sar there so they only will in, in, in uh, uh, what do you call upadesha they only will give to a disciple secretly otherwise it is not possible for one to understand correctly now mula mantraatmika mula mantraatmika now mula mantraatmika now what is mula mantraatmika when we explained the vag bhava kootam madhya kootam and shakti kootam dharma artha kama and moksha all the trivarga right or the five syllable six syllable five syllables six syllables and also four syllables when we explain then what is mula mantraatmika mula mula means what root root what is the root she is very beautiful saying mula mantra means root of the mantra mantra swarupini what is the root of the mantra swarupini here mantra is what panchadashi mantra what is the aadhara for panchadashi mantra aatmika aatmika means what 
हर नेचर हर स्वभाव बिकॉज द ग्रॉस इज सपोर्टेड बाय सटल सो व्हाट इज मूल मंत्रात्मिका मीन्स टोटल डिवाइन मदर फॉर्म नॉट द फिजिकल फॉर्म द इनसाइड सटल फॉर्म ऑफ द डिवाइन मदर इज द मूल मंत्रात्मिका शी इज द रूट मूल फॉर एंटायर मंत्र स्वरूपिणी मूल मंत्रात्मिका सो ऑल थ्री पार्ट ऑफ द पंचदशी मंत्र इज नथिंग बट ए पार्ट ऑफ हेर फॉर्म ओनली दे नॉट सपरेट ऑल थ्री पार्ट ऑफ पंचदशी मंत्र इज अ पार्ट ऑफ हेर फॉर्म डिवाइन फॉर्म ओनली सो सो टोटल डिवाइन मदर इज कॉल्ड एज मूल मंत्रात्मिका नॉट डिविजन वाक् भवकूटम मध्यकूटम देन शक्ति कूटम सपरेटली वी डू उपासना सपरेट रिजल्ट आर गिवेन बट मूल मंत्रात्मिका मीन्स वॉट टोटल डिवाइन मदर इन टोटल so if you meditate on sri chakra then the sri chakra is each bija aksharas are there on every trikona and bindu bija so there is a beautiful mahatma sen the different commentaries are there so all bindus in trikona is shiva tattva i mean in the and trikonas are shakti so shiva shakti samaikya ye sri chakra all bindus are shiva swarupam and all trikonas are all whatever it is around is shakti swarupa so what is shiva shakti aikya is sri chakra roopa okay now here all three parts are divine mother only so mantra maya shariram who the divine mother and what is mantraatma mola mantraatmika she is the root of the four purusharthas chaturvidha purushartha so means what if we invoke divine mother she will give all the four purusharthas meaning she will give dharma then artha kamas and then also moksha in bhagavatam it was said no in dharma artha kam vyasa bhagwan mentions artha is for dharma and artha is not for kama very beautiful thing artha is for dharma and through that dharma fulfill dharmic desires not directly artha goes to wealth kama sorry dharma artha kama moksha so artha is not directly linked to kama what we think dharma is chopped off moksha is never considered wealth and enjoyment wealth enjoyment earn enjoy earn enjoy earn enjoy this artha is not to be linked directly to kama but artha is only meant for dharma sadhana like more money you have more turnover more profits less money to invest it less turnover less profit so whatever whatever you earned in this life whatever you earned artha that you are doing it investing only spending for dharma to give charity you need wealth uh, to do upasana to give some to do some puja karyakram or something now some of you are bringing prasad every day so you must have some wealth no to make and come otherwise charity is not possible so artha is meant for dharma and dharma is actually through dharma you fulfill desires whatever it is but after fulfilling desires dharma should lead lead you to moksha only so here all purusharthas are given by the mother mantra roopini what is mantra mantra roopini manana trayate the more you chant this mantra panchadashi upasana mantra sri vidya upasana you are protected protected what from all this four from not getting all the four meaning what 
you are you are not given more of desires or not given to disturb the balance between artha kama and dharma artha kama then the desires also are controlled wealth also is not disproportionately given so that you go out of balance and wealth also is under control whatever is much required for dharma sadhana that is given provided to you so dharma is not compromised because of lack of wealth and through that dharma dharma viruddho bhuteshu kama usnu bharatarshabha o arjuna i am the desire which is unopposed to dharma if it is dharma baddha so there is no doubt no problem because the dharma will lead you to vairagya and vairagya to gnanotpatti gnanotpatti to antarmukha sadhana antarmukha sadhana to moksha so all the four are given and therefore next mantra is mula kuta traya kale bara mula mantra atmika next one mula kuta traya kale bara see the three divisions ultimately her kalevaram the physical form also is made up of three that is three only the three divisions of her form may be taken as physical form or subtle form so really the word mula now mula means what actually subtler body subtle subtle subtler and subtle body is mantra rupini subtler is kama rajakutam and therefore kama kala kama kala is the three divisions or this entire thing ultimately explain subtler body is kama kala the three divisions of this kama kala will be told again later on so here traya means three the three kutas of panchadashi mantra mula traya kalebara so mula kuta traya kalebara so all the three her body is nothing but physical form is nothing but again made up of this three so that means what physical form subtle form subtler form kamakala subtler form subtlest is kundalini shakti form okay that kundalini shakti again will merge in shiva that is from whom the shakti manifested and to whom the energy merges like ability to speak in me has come out from whom from me only the shakti to speak has come out from me after its function it merges into me so subtlest form is kundalini shakti so therefore now from 90th nama up to 111 90th to 111 this speaks about kundalini upasana kramam kundalini shakti kundalini upasana all those things are told from this thing lord let us chant now in the upasana mool um, कुलामृतकसिकुलसकेतपालिनी कुलांगनाकुलांत कौलिनी कुलयोगिनी अकुलासमयांत समाचार तत्परा मूलाधारैकनलया ब्रह्मग्रंथि विभेदिनी मणिपूरांतरुदिता विष्णुग्रंथि विभेदिनी आज्ञाचक्रांतरालस्थारुद्रग्रंथि विभेदिनी सहस्रारांबुजारूढ़ा सुधा साराभिवर्षिणी तटिलता सामुचि समुचि समुचि षटक षटक्रोपरी संस्थिता महाशक्तिकुंडलिनी विशतंतुतनीयसी महाशक्तिकुंडलिनी विश वप्टु विशतंतुतन ऑल दीज नाम अप टू हंड्रेड लेवन इन पर्टिकुलर विशतंतुतनीयसी अप टू हियर इज कुंडलिनी योग नौ वी नीड लॉट ऑफ डिस्क्रिप्शन एनालिस इंट्रोडक्शन फॉर कुंडलिनी राइट so many kundalini yogas are there 5000 rupees per day per chakra 
तो सेवन डेज सेवन चक्र खुल जाता है थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज नो फ्रेंड्स रिमेंबर नो लेट मी टेल यू वेरी क्लियरली वील गो इन टू दिस बिकॉज ऑल द मिसअप्रहेंशन अबाउट कुंडलिनी शक्ति हैज टू बी रिमूव राइट एंड माइंड यू we should first of all now what is this kundalini shakti and what is the entire kundalini yoga procedure means what actually is it then does it mean that vedantins or bhakti yogis or other uh, upasakas simple upasakas or so many people doing different different sadhanas not the kundalini yogi yoga is it then they are the inferior they don't know anything fascinating words huh? kundalini meditation they are very fascinating so now we have to study properly what is this kundalini okay so this nama 90th nama is first now we'll chant this kulamrutai karasika that's it kulamrutai karasika ah kula amruta ek rasika now the meaning of kulam is given so many meanings are there for kulam here now see <coughs> as i said said subtle form is what mantra form subtler form is kamakala roopam subtlest form is kundalini form that's kundalini shakti subtlest roopini of mother mother shakti roopini now here first one kulam means we have to see now what is kulam lot of descriptions are there so many definitions are there for kulam here in the commentaries see kulam means what one Im- immediately meaning is samuham group samuham kulam okay ah okay. huh? listening kulam means what samuham okay from मूलाधार चक्र विल सी नो अगेन आफ्टर वर्ड्स अगेन विल डिस्क्रिप्शन विल सी जितना जहां हो सकता है उतना तक बताएंगे मूलाधार चक्र टू आज्ञा चक्र इज कुलम नो मूलाधार चक्र मीन्स वॉट पृथ्वी तत्व ऑल पंच महाभूता सर लिंक टू चक्रास ओनली पृथ्वी तत्व देन जल तत्व अग्नि तत्व वायु तत्व दट्स वो यू नो अर्जुन सेड वेर आर डिजायर्स आर देर वेर इज माइंड इन द हार्ट दट्स वो इन योगिक डिस्क्रिप्शन दट योग शास्त्रे बिकॉज भगवदगीता आलो वे वी स्टडी इन योग टर्मिनालजी यू विल बी अमेज हाउ मच इज द योगिक सीक्रेट्स आर हिडन इन दट नो सी अर्जुन से that because you know in hrudaya sthanam it is vayu vayu and vayu means what again hrudaya also desires right and where is the mind and focus has to be done in heart only in the divine bhagwan is seated in the heart only when i am trying to focus my attention in the heart and here it is vayu tattva what is vayu means what winds and their mind is unable to focus vayu riva sudushkaram see that arjuna says it is difficult because here vayu mandalam is there that vayu mandalam as if it is circulating around the heart and this vayu mandalam which is circulating around the heart does not allow us to enter into the heart 
it will throw you out. The moment you are trying to focus and trying to establish who am I, meditating on the heart, the Vayu Mandalam in the heart will throw you out. Why Vayu Mandalam? Agnya Chakamina. Anahatam is Vayu, vayu only. Muladhara is Prithvi Tattva and Vayu Tattva is Hrudayam. And Vishuddha is Akasha. And again, corresponding glands are there in the body. Again, each one of them control different aspects of physical body. Swadhisthana, Manipura, Swadhisthana controls Agni aspect of the temperature related issues with the body. Muladhara is matter related, Prithvi Tattva related. Vayu related diseases or inodominal harmony, disharmonies in the body are because of this Anahata Chakra. It's a very complex subject. I'm just telling, just telling super, super, superficially. So this entire thing is complex. And every Agni, every Agni Tattva, Vayu Tattva, in Mahabharatam we have studied, if you have heard Long back, there when certain yogas, yogic secrets are mentioned by Bhishmacharya. And you see now, what is Agni? Agni is the form. Akasha, Vayu, then Agni. Shabdha, Sparsha, Rupa. Akasha guna, Shabdha. Vayu guna, Sparsha. Agni gunam, Rupam. In the universe, whatever is maintaining in a form, to maintain a form in a shape and size, is Agni is a Karan. The body temperature in us is maintaining the form. When I take out Agni from every form, in every form Agni is hidden. When I invoke Agni, little, 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 little Agni with mastic, I put the, in the, in the Lakadi. I just um, light the, lighten the uh, wood. The entire Agni Tattva which is there, all pervading in the wood, comes out and the form is destroyed. The form doesn't exist there. Jansa Sunna. The body is main, that's a body temperature is coming down. Agni is going down in the body, meaning death is certain. Because it no more holds the body in shape. And this Agni should be always lit. And Agni cannot be lit unless there is an air. air. You fan the fire then the fire is lit, is maintained. Not too much fire or air also. So you have to fan the fire. So then Agni prajurat hota hai. Unless the Agni is constantly maintained, the body shape is not maintained. For the fanning only, this breathing is going on. So this breath is going inside, fanning the Agni as if Agni is kept intact and the body shape is maintained. What a system it is. If you stop the breath, the temperature comes down. If temperature is not responding to the breathing, also you die. So what is yoga now? Constantly Agni Tattva and Vayu Tattva, Vayu Deva and Agni Deva are together holding this body in shape. The fundamental material for the shape is provided by Prithvi Tattva. And lubrication necessity for the system is provided by Jala Tattva.
and all these things is maintained by kundalini shakti the mool energy primordial energy it's called primordial energy kundalini means a locked up energy which is of course in circulation there are different aspects of energy is there in that and that is prakruti swarupini only she is serving us so every breath i am fanning the fire now here the mantra first before that kolam amrita rasa ek rasika we'll see later on first kolam we should see so kolam means what a group of all chakras and each chakra now how diseases are formed chalo boli lete hain each chakra is energy center what is chakra a point through which lot of lines of energy circuits or wires are crossing wherever wires maximum wires are crossing energy lines are crossing through a point of intersection maximum lines so maximum lines are passing through these major seven chakras and there what happened the energy is either under stimulated or over stimulated or non stimulated non stimulating means organ death organ failure which results into death of a person it triggers into other process under stimulation every chakra is related corresponding to a gland and every gland is linked to certain functioning of certain the body certain area they are ruling certain area in all six systems of anatomy there are also which is six systems only respiratory system endocrine system etc 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 circulatory system so each system is linked to one chakra so when that energy level when they are because it's not a matter only no it's just matter a matter is kept alive amazing so just padarth jad that you really wonder you meditate you think it's a wonder that how this body is very dead matter it is actually it means what it just insentient padartha mud in the mud from the mud only variety of organs are born heart cells are very sensitive certain cells in the different parts are very little bit of very what you call stubborn so they can be chided heart cells are very sensitive you cannot uh, disturb them yogis explain all these things so entire body is running only because of that shakti so kulam means this entire group of chakras now all the group of chakras are lit how for example there are different junction boxes are kept but only one main you switch on from that main only all the group of junction boxes and each junction box supporting and supplying energy for some equipments are all lit is it not so what how that that shakti upanishads also veda i mean the it says very clearly the brahmarandra the shakti enters first that the shakti enters through sushumna nadi the middle line main pipeline main um, cord of the current supply it goes into it is the energy is poured into mooladhara the base like a electric power station 
from that again energy goes into heart it's supplied from the heart 72000 nadis are there and this percolates into through all 72000 nadis what are nadis swami shivanand ji explains nadis are insulators of prana nadi is not nerve just as the outer cover in the wire electric wire plastic wire is there upper now on the first of all you cut it then you find red wire and black wire again you cut that wire you find another copper wire in that copper wire the energy is flowing so energy is neither the copper wire nor the plastic insulated first one not the second insulation so what we talk about nerves etc etc there nadi means not the nerves nadi means it's like a copper line but in that copper line energy is flowing current is flowing so nadis are insulators of prana the 72000 nadis correct you can research and research has done also 72000 nadis are there all these meaning insulators of prana and that energy is unobstructedly it should flow what do you say the scientist the medical doctor say when the blood flow is not particular in affecting the blood flow flowing in a particular part that part becomes very kala kala then slowly dead because lack of blood flow it becomes uh, uh, dysfunctional first and then slowly dies what is blood blood is cannot flow blood is only a material matter but what is flowing in the blood is prana because prana is flowing you find that water is the blood is flowing so prana is carrying the blood so what is flowing is what the 72000 nadis the energy only centers on which shakti it is kundalini shakti only in upanishad bhagwan when the bhashya also is there upanishad one one of the upanishad very clearly speak from that one or 72000 nadis one nadi comes out from the heart and it goes up now in this entire process energy is always flowing downward energy flowing downward means what bahir mukhi vritti our vritti is mind thoughts are turned outside when your thoughts are turned th- turned outside because thought this energy follows thought this is a secret mantra wherever thought is projected the energy flows in the direction gurudev gives very beautiful example i am talking of this mantra only so don't think i am going somewhere else kulamurta ekarasika kaulini kula yogini all those things will come now now wax ball you take gurudev gives very beautiful example wax ball in the wax ball you take a blade or any sharp thing and draw a line a small channel is created through that channel a limited energy can flow or a limited energy or water can flow but on the same channel again and again you draw it the channel deepens the more it deepens more water will flow in that channel in that in the, through that channel is it not similarly more the thoughts are directed in one angle more energy is flowing in that because thought is nothing but is followed by energy another example i'll give you when you are eating food on dining table suddenly half a glass of water spills on the table normally immediately what do we do before we get a cloth and all that very simple technique is what put a finger and draw a line the flow stops and the starts flowing in one direction only 
So you are not allowing the water to go all around the table. Immediately I control the flow by drawing a line. In one line I draw, all water flows in the direction. Similarly, one thoughts I draw in one direction, all energy flows in the direction only. But our thoughts are towards turned outside, so all energy is going in outside only. And Upanishad says that by default in the creation, as the creator created us, he paranchikani vyaturnat sayambhuhu, parang pasyati na antaratman. By default, by default means as a system problem. The nature of the system is that, that the sense organs are fitted outside. They are fitted outside, turning outside. Paranchikani, Kani, Indriyas, Vitrunath, twisted and fixed, Swayambhuhu, created. Therefore, Parang Pashyati, Na Antaratman. Therefore, they are trained only to see outside and not trained to see inside. The focus is outside only. Eyes outside, ears are outside. Same years when I started withdrawing from external sounds through upasana meditation and start listening to sounds within the body and also deep inside, then maybe I am here, Venuganam also I can hear or Nada, Bindu, Chit, Kalas I can hear. I can hear subtle regions, subtle sounds, subtle music, which is being played by Gandharvas. But I am not listening. I am listening only outer, outer sounds. Why I am not trained? That means what? Because Paranchikani, meaning by nature the Shakti is always flowing outside. Meaning through Indriyas, are turned outside, so Shakti also flows outside only. Therefore, the entire energies are wasted. Supply is infinite, but wasted. Now, this entire the energy, main line, and again supply, sub, sub lines are many. And one line, Sushumna Nadi, out of 72,000, some are important. Out of that, the important Sushumna. And that end line, that line goes upside. From that line only it has come inside and then all drained away. So now what is Kundalini Yogam? Kundalini Yoga means what? By ultimately this energy which is splashing and everywhere going around has to be collected and slowly cross one of the one layer. Prithvi Tattva, Jala Tattva, Agni Tattva, Vayu Tattva, and Akasha Tattva cross these Pancha Mahabhutas and then take the entire energy withdraw from all the external world and place it the source from where this energy has erupted, emerged. From where? From Shiva. The consciousness. So to make this entire energy proceed towards that consciousness and merge this energy in that consciousness is called Shiva Shakti Aikya or Kundalini Yoga Rahasya. Now you say, for this energy, the, because subtlest form is energy. We saw that now. Sukshma, Sukshmatara, Sukshmatama is this Kundalini Shakti. So, the entire prak and the Kundalini Shakti is going outside. By what? By, triggered by what? Our Vasanas, our Samskaras. But yeah, I give you 1000 rupees and I will take you a mall. You spend 1000 rupees as per your sanskaras. You will not purchase a, a rosary and sit in one of the um, what you call uh, steps or somewhere in the mall and do japa. No, you will not do. Even you go to a shop, the as per your samskar only, your energy you are spending. You are investing that energy. Somebody wants coffee, somebody wants ice cream, somebody wants pizza, somebody wants burger. That means what you have, you are investing. How? Externally. Uh, depending on what? Your sanskar. Our energies are wasted or invested as per our sanskar, as per our vasanas. A new car purchased. 
आफ्टर कर परचेज सांस पर संस्कार संबड़ी गोस टू टेम्पल और गो टू बद्रीनाथ फर्स्ट यात्रा और गो टू वृंदावन और मथुरा एंड संबड़ी गोस टू पब एनर्जी मनी इज गिवेन हाउ यू यूज इट डिपेंडिंग अपॉन यूर संस्कार सो दिस एंटायर शक्ति इज अवेलेबल अनलेस द शक्ति इज टर्न विद इन विड्रॉन दट इज फ्रॉम मोल प्रकृति द प्रकृति इज जड प्रकृति we should slowly withdraw and then turn towards the in that sushumna the main line everything is balanced another so great mahatma i mean they say that this sushumna is not a special nadi again they say some people say then what when ida and pingala is balanced sushumna is created that upgoing sushumna the secret path so neither rightist nor leftist a middle path oh now this energy has to be now how can we we do this very simple ha huh. sam through pranayama and one thing one thing is conscious sankalpa because sankalpa energy follows thought so one is sam through people through pranayama consciously awaken the kundalini shakti but this is not required because this is the grossest way of doing it then what do you do either through bhakti gnana or vedanta vichara or upasana constantly thinking about the supreme lord automatically all the energies are flown towards that only so by changing the mind and intellect by thoughts automatically the entire energy flows in different direction same energy same energy before you joined chinma mission at 11:30 to 12:30 definitely you have been watching uh, you have watched tv serials or going out and gossip time peak time for gossip especially for women unemployed women not non working women is this time only when husband and school children goes away and before they come back for afternoon lunch or anything there is a peak time for gossip now this peak time of gossip is sacrificed for what for listening something else now what is happening now energy is diverted so therefore there is no need specifically to visualize each chakra and then following that kundalini and then that shakti three coiled the secrets are there three and of coiled the serpent kundalini energy coiled up energy and then that is awakened and then it passes through illumining lightening up every chakra meaning what fulfilling and nourishing every aspect of our personality and then it's going beyond crossing all the limits crossing all the external the what you call pancha tattvas pancha mahabhutas and going to mind transcending the mind transcending the buddhi hmm? upanishad mantra says merge the vani in mind mind in intellect intellect in ahamrutti ahamrutti in paramatma so whatever you constantly sankalpena by constant contemplation on any of these path through any of these paths this happens so one need not specifically focus because that is not a healthy way especially in the present times it looks fascinating but you are playing with a pure energy you are unnecessarily touching that shakti gurudev said very clearly some people don't play with the shakti he said because it suddenly wakes suppose you are suddenly releasing a pure energy and into a unfit instrument that instrument fuse will go meaning death will come so we were going to try this kind of induce inducement inducting this energy into somebody and he became mad forever for life one fellow used to ask from vivekananda ji when he used to sit in meditation samadhi in dakshineshwar one of the rooms there then we used to ask um uh, vivekananda at that time youngster 27 28 year not even before he went to abroad 
They used to enjoy the samadhi. Then you should ask, please, 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 I also want to enjoy that bliss. Vivekan said, okay, I will give you that experience. Do one thing. One day he said, uh, after I go into that samadhi, after 15 minutes, you touch me. I will sit there in meditation. After 15 minutes, you touch. I will pass some energy, energy to you. I got similar energy from my guru. So I will pass energy to you. So you will also get that state of brilliance that immediately that you will experience. That time Ramakrishna Paramsa is gone to take bath in Ganges. Nearby only, no Ganges behind. He came to know that this experiment is being done in the room there. He started running. Naren, 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 please don't do Naren, Naren. Before Ramakrishna Paramsa came running to stop this experiment, he touched him, Vivekananda, and once for all, he became mad. Why? The pure energy of Samadhi energy, pure energy, suddenly you pass on to an impure equipment. Bartan saaf nahi hai, achcha dood dal diya, usme fo dood pat jata hai. That is why Vedanta says, Adhikari, Adhikari, Patra, Patra hona chahiye, Patra, Patrata, eligibility. So Ramakavamsa said, okay now, whenever you want to go, you are going into Nirvikal Samadhi and coming out, it will become play for you. Now I am taking the key back from you. What key? This ability in you to go and jump into the Nirvikal Samadhi state anytime, whenever you want and come out into this plane of consciousness as a Leela, sport for you, I am withdrawing it from you. Till you complete my mission on earth, you will not be given this again. For them to walk into that plane and coming into this plane, it's just like a sport. So therefore, this Kula, his entire thing is group of chakras linked to energy, then all this Kundalini Yoga, so, and it lights up every chakra. Every chakra lighting up means what? We are conquering that. Conquering that means not as the hankar. We are crossing it. That level is being crossed. That level, like Vayavarva Sudhushkaram, and unless the Vayu Mandalam is conquered, you cannot enter into the heart for meditation. Therefore, you sit for mind meditation, without your knowledge, mind goes off somewhere. When it is goes, you don't know. Because this Vayu Mandalam, uthake aisa phek deta hai, you go into unconscious, mind goes somewhere. So this Gita also, Yoga Rahasya only, Yoga Shastra. From yogic terminology, if you read Bhagavad Gita, it gives, exactly fits into this Raja Yoga, this Yoga, Yoga Marga. So, Kundalini Shakti is Divine Mother only, but we should not think that it is something special and attractive Yoga, shortcut method. Why unnecessarily read Tattva Bodha, Puja, Upasana, Puja, Nanjapa, Chintanam Kramat, as Bhagavan Onmar, she said, why who will do all this nonsense again? Let us jump into direct Kundalini Yoga. Chedding as our Shakti say, under, it is dangerous. And unless, when it is awakened also, it has to be controlled by a Guru. Guru with his own Sankalpa, he will see it exactly and then he will control the speed of it, the flow of it. Oh, so many things are there. So therefore, our Marga is through thought, through Sankalpa, through love and devotion, through service, through Karma Yoga, Bhakti Yoga, Jnana Yoga, automatically this Shakti energies become inward. Making energies flow inward is Kundalini Yoga. When as we make energies inward flow, automatically as a byproduct, these chakra starts unfolding. Purthvi chakra unfold, Muladhar chakra unfold, means you will not be subjected to the influence of the Purthvi tattva much. Certain things will happen through you, not as a something power and all. You know that your body is cooperating, your body is becoming healthier and healthier. 
So many things are there like this. I will not explain no further. So this is the sadhana. So therefore, this Kundalini Yoga will be explained to us in the next few namas. So what is Kula? Amburta Rasika is there. No, she takes that Amburta. What is that Kula Amburtam then in yogic terminology? That she drinks. Divine Mother enjoys that. Means what? We will see next class. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamadachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vasishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Sri Guru Namaha Hari Om Sadgurunath Maharaj Ki Jai